Do we think it makes me a bad person that I'm kind of glad we're talking about measles? Not because it's making people sick, but like the molecular biology nerd in me loves talking about measles because it's so cool, it's so bad, it's so scary, but it's so cool to talk about it. So let's talk about it. If you don't know me, my name is Katie. I'm a fourth year medical student I'm about to become a physician. But in my previous life, I am a molecular biologist. I got my undergrad degree in molecular cellular developmental biology. And a huge part of that was immunology. Immunology is the study of our immune systems, how it's impacted and how it fights off viruses and bacteria. And measles was the coolest virus I ever learned about it. Oh, learned about because it is the scariest. Here's why. The number one reason why it's incredibly cool but scary is that it has an R naught value of like 12 to 18. That R naught like basically describes how infectious something is. For example, COVID had like an R naught of two to three. The higher the R naught, the more infectious it is. It's also spread airborne. So someone could like sneeze 20 feet away from you and the air particles travels to you, you get measles. You could even like walk through an area that somebody with measles had and coughed, sneezed, farted whatever, and you could catch measles. That's how infectious it is. Okay, the second scariest but craziest thing about measles is that measles can wipe out your immune system. This requires a little bit of context, so bear with me, but you have two types of immune systems. You have your innate system, which is like the initial response to an illness, and then you have your acquired system, which is a very like individualized specific response. We acquired is obviously way more effective than your innate immune system. So a part of the acquired immune system is your, you have these things called memory B cells. They are built up in a response to like an illness or a vaccine, and those are what create antibodies. We know what antibodies do. So your bone marrow houses all of these memory B cells that are ready to produce antibodies if it ever sees like a bacteria or virus again to create a very specific and effective response. What measles does is it wipes out, it wipes out your memory B cells. It can wipe out 20 to 70% of your memory B cells, which is crazy because if you survive measles, which is a very scary disease in and of itself, you are now immune incompetent. You have like the immune system of a baby. You are starting from scratch. So your chances of getting sick with another illness that you've already seen before, that you've already survived, you've already been vaccinated against is so much higher. It is crazy to me that a virus can do that. This one is hopeful is that the MMR vaccine that is given is 97% effective from preventing measles. And your memory B cells are so good at holding on to that memory that you likely don't ever need a booster again. You get one when you're one and then you get one when you're four and then you are good for the rest of your life, likely. It's not like tetanus where you need one every 10 years or like the flu shot that you need one every year. So if you've got them before, you're, you're good. That's so cool.